Today, the son of a woman who was killed in a hit and run stared down the suspect as he was brought into court. 59 year old Lisa Rocha was just getting out of her car last night in Taunton when she was hit. Police say the driver took off from the scene but didn't get very far. WBZ's Bill Shields is live in Taunton for us tonight. And Bill, just a terrible, terrible loss for this family. This is, David, this is so sad. I mean, you get, like you said, you had a 59 year old woman just shopping here on Main Street, Taunton, getting into her car when she was hit. Some flowers out here on the sidewalk now, that's right in front of the spot where the store clerks came out, tried to help her. They went right, the police went right around the corner and found the alleged driver who took off. Oh, gosh. Grieving family members came to the spot on Main Street in Taunton where Lisa Rocha was killed yesterday. She had been shopping and was simply getting in her car. Well, this is very sad for us to lose Lisa like this. It really is. You know, she was a very good person, loved her, loved her kids to the boot and back. And uh, I'm just devastated. You're charged with manslaughter. Police say this is the man who killed Lisa, Roland Escobar of Taunton. Investigators say when his SUV slammed into the grandmother, he had been drinking and doing drugs. Uh, two shots of fireball, as well as oxycodone, which you believe may have also contained fentanyl. Police say it was Tuesday evening when Escobar hit and killed Lisa Rocha on Main Street. He then took off and around the corner flipped his SUV. Outside of court, Lisa Rocha's son tearfully spoke of his mother and her tragic death. Me and my mother were always really close. Um, you know, my father passed away two years ago, and so it's just, she's, her mother passed away two years ago, and it's just, we've had a lot of death, and it's just, it just hasn't stopped. This family in the last couple of years has lost four family members just in two years. Now, Lisa, yesterday evening. As for the suspect, Escobar, he's being held without bail. Reporting live from Taunton, I'm Bill Shields, WBC News.